Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting some Valentine's cards and I will be using this Canson watercolor paper Montwall. This is 200 GSM or 140 pounds, 24 by 32 centimeters or 9.4 by 12.6 inches. It is also called press watercolor paper. I have divided it into four parts. So today I will be doing three cards. Also, I will be using this ink pen from Etcher. This is 03, but later on I will also be using 01. So I'm starting with the well, I guess inking for the first card and I drew a couple of hearts. You can see on the right side, a little bit smaller, a little bit larger ones. And also I'm just minding that I do not crisscross them. I do want them to, those that are uh, looking like they are behind to make it look like they are behind. So I'm just not drawing one on top of each other, but just being careful to make those lines to make it look like there is one behind the other. And then doing some details on them, some lines, some dots. You can embellish them whatever with whatever you like. So anything you want to draw in, maybe some stars or maybe some hearts inside of the hearts, that's also fine. You can just embellish them as you like. So this is just the first layer of sketch. Later on we will be doing a little bit more of the inking. When finished with that, I've just privetted the paper around my hearts. I did not put any water on hearts. So just going around them, adding a little bit of this beautiful skin pink from my collection, pastel collection. So this is a beautiful light pink color and some splatters. And of course, for the colors, you can definitely use the colors you like. You don't have to use the same colors. You can use maybe reds, greens, whatever you like. So for now, we're done with the first one. Moving on to the second one. For that, I just drew a couple of hearts, three hearts actually at the bottom. And then just drawing the lines between those hearts. And later on, I will add two more lines on the edges. So now I'm starting with painting my first heart, again using that same skin pink, then turning my paper around. And as you can see, I'm just moving that paint downwards and it will actually be up when, you turn it, when we turn our card. So just adding a little bit more of the paint, looking like there is some maybe a paint color bleeding, a little bit more of the splatters and some clean water. This is just a clean water. I do want to add a little bit of the texture to the heart. So clean water just gives those beautiful blooms. And for the second one, I am using Wow Pink from the Cozy set. Again, you can use any colors you like. You don't have to use the same colors as I do. Moving the paint down. Just adding a little bit more of the paint, some splatters and some splatters with clean water. And then picking up this beautiful violet color, lavender, and painting the third heart. Same thing, moving the paint down, some splatters with clean water, some splatters with that lavender. And we are done for now with the second card. Then moving on to the third card. And for that, also drawing a couple of hearts. And these are just ideas for the cards. Of course, you can use them, you can get inspired with them and just do your own cards. I decided to, <laughs> to paint hearts on all of those cards. So, well, now just moving the paint slightly downwards, making those bleeds. with the paint and a little bit of the water. Some splatters again with the clean water and some splatters with that same skin pink. Now using some yellow to, well, to splatter it just to give it a little bit more of the interest. Then a wow pink for the second heart, again, Completely same thing, painting in the heart, then adding some bleeds. So 
some splatters with clean water and some splatters with yellow lavender same thing for the lavender heart again i did one more heart in a skin pink and one more heart in this warm yellow did completely the same thing some splatters with clean water with yellow and i will leave this one also to dry now going back to the first one now that this one is dry i'm just painting in inside the heart and as you can see i've just added some skin pink again and going around it moving that paint just touching with the tip of my brush i'm touching the paint and just let it bleed into the well i guess lower stripe <laughs> and that is how i've painted that entire heart for the second one i'm using warm yellow and I've painted one side of the heart a little bit darker and one side a little bit lighter and then top in a couple of dots with that again skin pink and splattered a little bit more of the skin pink on the heart third one again same thing as the first one painting in those stripes and then moving the paint in between same thing for the fourth one, but this time I've used Wow Pink, Lavender Heart, again, Wow Pink for the, I guess this is the sixth and seventh, I used some Wow Pink, some Skin Pink, and then some splatters with Skin Pink with some yellow, and then leave that aside to dry. Moving on to the second one, I've just added some splatters in a lavender and some splatters, splatters in wild pink and some splatters in skin pink those colors I used previously and then added a little bit of the paint on the left side and the same thing for the third one I'm just adding a little bit of the paint I used for painting the heart on the left side just to make that side I guess a little bit more saturated to make it look like there is some transition between the colors a little bit more of the splatters and after it all dried completely, now I'm using this uh, zero 01. I guess for the first one I used zero 03 and then just saw it's a little bit too thick. So for the second and the third card I used a little bit thinner ink pen. And I've just added a little bit more of the border, lines for the border to make it uh, thicker. And I did not try to go over one line. I did want it to make it visible to see that there are uh, lots of lines. Also added... A little bit more of that ink to the inside where I did through those lines to make them also a little bit more visible and dots of course I wrote on this one for you with love but again you can just write whatever you like and then I also decided to do the edges the borders I thought it would look nicer so I've picked up some pink and some yellow just to do the borders for the second one again same thing I'm just adding a little bit more of the lines on the edges of the heart and as I did said earlier I am doing those two lines on the sides I thought it would look nicer so I've added also those lines and just borders for the hearts, dots and some splatters with white gouache this time and here I wrote in you live in my heart so again you can write in any text you like you don't have to <laughs> write the same text and did a couple of more dots on the sides edges painted the edges with skin pink and we are done also with the second one for the third one again those edges of the hearts lines on the edges not trying to stay within the lines i did earlier but i am going outside the hearts the borders of the hearts few dots beneath and then again i did drew also a couple of lines inside of the hearts to make it a little bit more interesting and also to make it look like they're they belong to the set for the previous two some splatters with white gouache 
And here I wrote Happy Valentine's Day. And also I will be painting the edge for that one with yellow and skin pink. And with that we are done. Quite simple cards, ideas. So you can definitely do this even if you don't paint. Usually these cards are very, very simple. So definitely something you can do. But just mind that you are using the ink pen that is not water soluble because you know we are painting on top of it and that's basically everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like these ideas and you you're gonna give them a try and please if you do like it please hit the like button share it and comment i would love to see your comments and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and very much appreciated and again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye